I'm Jennifer, and my seven-year-old son, Nathaniel, is on the DDA waiting list. We live in Baltimore City. Nathaniel was born with a genetic syndrome, which impacts his ability to speak, swallow, grow, and develop. At age seven, he functions at around an 18-month-old level. Nathaniel can't talk, but he can make his feelings known. He loves the sun and the wind. He laughs. He enjoys dancing and playing ball with his brother. He loves me to read to him or hear his dad play guitar. He lets us know that he loves us, and we really love him. The reality of Nathaniel's care is very hard. He has a G-tube and gets medicine through the tube five times a day. He weighs 60 pounds and wears diapers and needs constant help and supervision. Sometimes he has uncontrollable tantrums. I'm 50 years old and my husband is 60 with health problems of our own and another child who needs our attention. We have not taken a vacation together in eight years and we're tired. Nathaniel qualifies for an institutional level of care. Ironically, institutionalizing Nathaniel would cost the state far more than the respite and in-home help that we want in order to keep Nathaniel at home. We want Nathaniel to grow up at home and we need respite to keep our family together.